Welcome to Volunteer Orientation. The Center for Student Development staff, who coordinates orientation, want to thank you for coming out this weekend and to thank you for volunteering your time giving back to new students and to campus. Earlier this week, you met up with your team for the first time. Today is all about getting you acquainted with orientation as an organization and onboarding you as a member of our 600 strong volunteer team. Here's what the day is going to look like. You're going to be attending a handful of rotating sessions, which include a session on Bear's Den and social media, a panel, and a group activity. It should be a fun day, and we, the CSD staff, are really excited to meet you in the last session in CSIS, where all the volunteers will come together. We want you to have the best experience possible today. We have some expectations of you as you move through volunteer orientation. Be open. Be active. Be you. Be bold. Be a bear. Be open. Open to learning new things and having new experiences. Be active. Participate in activities, ask questions, and let us know what you like and what you didn't like. Be you. Get comfortable and know that orientation is a safe environment where you can embrace your best quirks and most outstanding qualities. Be bold. Get to know someone you haven't met before, and we dare you to find an orientation volunteer who won't want to meet someone new. Be a bear. Be active members of our U Alberta community. You're here, aren't you? Let's go ahead and check that box off. It's now time to get you oriented to orientation. You may know why you are volunteering, but you may not know exactly whom you are volunteering for. Orientation is a service of your students' union. The SU is comprised of all undergraduate students on campus, including you, and is governed by elected representatives on students' council and executive members such as the president and four vice presidents. The mission of the SU is to serve and represent undergraduate students in order to support their pursuit of knowledge and enhance their student experience. One office in the Students' Union is the Center for Student Development, or the CSD for short. The CSD offers a number of programmings, including orientation. The Center for Student Development has a manager and an assistant manager who work full-time to support a number of student coordinators. This year, there are three coordinators, Shadi, Alicia, and Edward. You have been selected as an orientation volunteer from over 1,200 applicants. We really feel like you reflect the best of what campus has to offer. In your positions, you act as ambassadors for the university and your students' union. The CSD puts a lot of work into planning orientation, but you form the front lines. You may even be the first face that these new students associate with the university. You are not alone in this task. Orientation has a number of different volunteer positions. High school orientation leaders make up the bulk of orientation's volunteers. They work directly with a group of new university students to help ease their transition into university by guiding tours, leading activities, and answering questions. Orientation leaders work in teams of two or three to guide a group of around 20 students throughout the two days of orientation. The University of Alberta Express, or UAX for short, orientation leaders, work with mature, transfer, and exchange students who come from a variety of different demographics, former institutions, and countries. They work directly with two different groups of students from a specific faculty, one on Monday and one on Tuesday, to help ease their transition into university by guiding tours, leading activities, and answering focused questions. Orientation Program Assistants, or OPAs for short, make up the integral support system of orientation. These volunteers perform the behind-the-scenes tasks that make orientation run, doing attendance, sorting ballots, and handling registration. This group of about 25 volunteers will work as a team to make sure orientation runs as smoothly as possible. 
Orientation Presentation Facilitators, or OPFs, are the creative glue of orientation. These volunteers will write, edit, record, and perform the eight different presentations seen by new students over the course of orientation. These volunteers will work in teams of four or five to create presentations in order to educate and entertain the new students. Orientation Photography Technicians, or OPTs for short, will capture all the spirit and excitement of orientation 2014. They will work in a small team of other photographers to capture the moments of orientation volunteer training and orientation and record presentations ensuring that these memorable times won't go undocumented. Forming the senior level of the orientation volunteer structure is a cohort of team facilitators. Every orientation volunteer has a team facilitator. Get to know yours. They can act as a great source of information and they have a lot of experience volunteering with orientation. Team facilitators have been working since December to recruit, interview, and train you. Communicating with orientation over your term as a volunteer is easy. Orientation has a very open door policy and we love hearing feedback from volunteers. To keep all of the ideas organized, we ask that all communication regarding orientation be directed to your team facilitator. They then in turn can direct your communication to the most appropriate person on staff. We encourage you to add your team facilitator's phone number to your contacts and to make note of their email so that you have different options for keeping in contact with them. Please remember that they too are students and allow them a reasonable amount of time to respond or to seek out the appropriate responses to your questions. The only time it would be required to email the CSD coordinators would be if you were having trouble contacting your team facilitator. Orientation wants to keep volunteers at all levels accountable, so your help in keeping communication flowing and available is appreciated. You can expect to hear from your team facilitator over the summer who will be planning events so your team can get together. The CSD will also be sending you information over the summer about developments in the program, supplementary training opportunities, and large summer events like the barbecue on June 19th. We hope to see you out with your team at the barbecue. And we would love to see what you're up to over the summer. Tag us on Twitter and Instagram using at UA Orientation or hashtag UA Orientation 2014. Orientation is a program very much rooted in the student experience. For decades, different iterations of the program have welcomed students to campus, and many traditions and features of our current program originate from those bygone eras. Educational and informational sessions were a key addition during the 70s and 80s under SOURCE, Student Orientation Services. The predecessor of today's promenade was the Snake Walk during the fall program known as Bear Tracks in the 50s and 60s and students have been coming together to celebrate after orientation, much in the same fashion of our president's address at freshman convocation since the early frosh weeks. Traditions are what connect the program to proud generations past, but creating new traditions connects us to our institution's bright future. Faculty cheers and costumes continue to evolve and be reinvented. Presentations change based on assessing constant and changing student needs. The entire structure of orientation changes based on feedback and the latest student affairs research. All of these traditions and all of these changes are set in motion by students. From an OPA who realizes there is a better way to keep track of attendance, to an orientation leader who introduces new games and cheers they learned at summer camp, to CSD coordinators who use a summation of their experience and expertise to steer orientation in directions that better serve students, the catalyst is always a student. What will your legacy be? How can you help students in our program move forward? It can be as simple as changing a few words here and there in a cheer, and it could be as monumental as giving one student a positive educational and personal experience that can set them on a path to a promising career. Some changes to our programming this year include offering UAX orientation sessions to mature, transfer, and exchange students in all faculties on both days of orientation, giving students the choice between two days. Orientation is committed to being flexible when working with students. This also gives UAX orientation leaders the opportunity to work with the same faculty for both days. 
All orientation leaders will be charged with delivering the welcome session to their individual groups of students. Due to the increasing size of our program, it is no longer feasible to host these sessions concurrently in large lecture theaters because they cannot accommodate us. This will give orientation leaders more opportunity to present to their group and establish your expertise. This year, we have removed the panel presentation from the programming. We will be working with the faculty associations in each faculty to provide panels as part of their own programming. This change was made due to the differences between faculties and the desire of students to hear from current students in their academic programs. We have worked with the team facilitators to alter the words and performance of faculty cheers to ensure that they exist as inclusive traditions and respect the vibrant diversity of our campus. The staff feel like it was important to remove mentions of unwanted or imposed sex acts, heteronormativity, and alcohol to reflect our organizational and institutional values. All you need is smiles. Lots and lots of smiley smiles. Your sweet pink mouth goes north, not south, and just smile. All you need is smiles. Hey, smile.